Aviation officials are racing toward a November deadline to comply with global standards of the International Civil Aviation Organization. That from Minister of Transport and Aviation, Glennis Hannah Martin. Minister Hannah Martin told Parliament today that a team of auditors from the Federal Aviation Administration, or FAA, is in the capital auditing the overall safety regime of the country's aviation sector. Cyan Thompson has more. If the Bahamas does not meet international aviation standards, it could risk being placed on a blacklist of non-compliant countries. This from the aviation minister in Parliament Wednesday as she laid the Civil Aviation Safety Amendment Regulations 2013. The Bahamas is now the to be the subject of a follow-up audit by ICAO in November of this year. This is a critical audit, Mr. Speaker, as the failure of the Bahamas to meet <clears throat> excuse me, the requisite standards at this stage could have very serious repercussions, including the following. A, IKO could publish warnings to all of the 191 member states as to the deficiencies of the aviation sector in the Bahamas. B, IKO would be forced to issue notices of significant safety concerns in this country. And C, ICAO could be forced to place the Bahamas on the world blacklist if lack of compliance is shown to continue. Hannah Martin reminded members the Bahamas was audited by the International Civil Aviation Organization in 2009 and a follow-up extended audit in 2011. According to the minister, during those audits, the Bahamas fell short. In response to those negative findings, the Bahamas formulated a corrective action plan the purpose of which was to ensure that the Bahamas would become compliant with the standards and recommended practices established by IKO. In the follow-up audit in 2011, while there was shown to be some improvement, the Bahamas was found to be in a continued deficient state. Acquiring aviation equipment and improving Family Island airports are high on aviation's agenda. Just last week, there was the official signing of the purchase agreement for a $14 million radar for our air navigation services. Just yesterday, the government approved the purchase of screening and explosives detection equipment for f several family island airports, namely Exuma, Bimini, North Eleuthera, Marsh Harbor, San Salvador, and the Linden Pindling International Airport, which we expect to be installed in those airports later this year. The House resumes Wednesday, May 22nd. For the ZNS Network News, I'm Cyan Thompson.